let's start creating the chart of depreciation in SAP. But before that, what is this chart of depreciation? The chart of depreciation is used to manage the various legal requirements for the depreciation and the valuation of assets. And these chart of depreciation are country specific. So, this can be used on all the company codes belonging to the same company. Let me show you how we create it in SAP. From SAP Easy Access, I'll use the menu path that is SBRO, SAP Reference IMG, Financial Accounting, Asset Accounting, Organizational Structures and finally click on this Copy Reference Chart of Depreciation and now in this pop-up window what I'll do is I'll just double click on this Copy Reference Chart of Depreciation. When I double click on this copy reference chart of depreciation, the system will take us to the new window. Actually, in the most of the scenarios of chart of depreciation, we copy from the SAP provided standard charts of depreciation and use it for our configuration. Okay? And in this screen, what I'll do is I'll just click on this copy as button. Now we will get the pop up for entering from and to values. Here, for the field from chart of depreciation, what I'll do is, I'll select as one IN, that is, simple chart of depreciation India. And for the two chart of depreciation field, we will give our required name. So, I'll just give as ABCC and press OK button. And now, I'll click OK in the information window. Then the system will ask whether we want to transport the number ranges or not. I will click on Yes button. Once it is done, we will get the message as Chart of Depreciation 1 IN Copy to ABCC. Now what we have to do? We have to just click the OK button. Now, we have created our chart of depreciation ABCC by copying from standard 1IN. After creating the chart of depreciation, we will make the modifications for the copy depreciation areas. These depreciation areas are used to calculate the depreciation for different reporting purposes. So, from this screen, I'll just click on the back button to come back to the previous configuration screen. And here, I'll just double click on check or delete the depreciation areas. Now, in the pop-up window, I'll enter the chart of depreciation that is ABCC and I hit enter. These are the different depreciation areas that are copied from one iron. We can see the India specific depreciation area already given by SAP uh, like book depreciation, depreciation as per the Income Tax Act 1961, cost accounting depreciation etc. Now for our learning activity, I'll just keep 1, 15 and 30 and delete all the other entries from the screen. Now what I'll do is I'll just select all the depreciation areas and click on delete button. Once it is deleted, I'll just click on save button. We will get the system message as entries has been deleted. So press the OK button to close it. Now I'll come back to the previous configuration screen using the back button. Here I'll now close this pop-up window. So the next step is assigning the chart of depreciation to company code. In SAP configuration screen, what we have to do is, we have to just click on Assign Chart of Depreciation to Company Code. When I click on this Assign Chart of Depreciation to Company Code, the system will navigate us to the new window. Here, click on the Position button and type the company code as ABCC and press the Enter key. Uh, now for the field Chart of Depreciation, what I'll do is, I'll just assign my Chart of Depreciation as ABCC and to save the changes, I'll just click on the Save button. Okay? Yes. So, what we did in this video is, we copied the standard chart of depreciation 1IN to ABCC and then deleted the depreciation area which we do not require 
After that, we assign the chart of depreciation ABCC to company code.